Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's huge. It's huge. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. And then it's like this little like pinfish. Like, oh man, that, that's a good one. That's a good one. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, me and Ronnie, we're both in the uh, Real Adventure kayak fishing group. Uh, we're out here fishing. He's catching a bunch of reds. I'm catching sheep's head for the sheep's head tournament. And uh, it's been kind of a rainy and windy day so far. But uh, we're getting out here and making it happen. Stay tuned. I have a pin fierce 3000 on right now. There it is. <laughs> Woo that was better. Yeah, that's oh man, he's fighting good. He's small. <laughs> Dude, he's fighting really good. What the heck? <laughs> oh man, I'm so bummed out now. <laughs> All right, well, right species, but the wrong size. <laughs> There we go. Is another one too small? Is it a keeper? It is not a keeper. <laughs> Dang it. I forgot to say, see you later, buddy. <laughs> or, uh, see you later, dude. See you, dude.
What's your team name? Do what? Team name? It works. Uh, Rusty, uh, Rusty Ferris. We have Rusty Ferris. Oh, he's a solo angler. Just say angler. Should be uh, close to the bottom, I believe. Rusty. I should have came up with a cool name. <laughs> All right, time for Rusty is... I don't know, my phone's somewhere. All right. Rusty, have you laid a fish? I don't. Alright. Rusty's first fish coming in. Nice and cold for me. <laughs> Alright, first fish coming in at 14.50. Ugh, shrink. <laughs> I swear it was 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody had a little lob in that cooler. They ain't playing around. Alright, sir. Second fish for Rusty coming in today. We're shopping is a pleasure. California walnuts, so simple, so good. 14.90. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> hey, it's still good. You want to board though, you know? Oh, I, yeah, it was it was a struggle today for me. I heard, I heard a bite stopped off around 10 o'clock this morning. It was a struggle. Did you do both? Kind I was glad to get too legal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, as you can see, I got pretty smoked. Uh, these are the winners. And they got like an 18 and 21 inch, just like big slobs. They're huge, um, super thick, like wide. And uh, they won. They won like this side Calcutta too. It was like the biggest ladyfish or whatever. They won both of those. It was crazy. But um, but yeah, it, it was still a lot of fun. The organization's awesome. It's called Cloud Nine Outdoors. And so the money I pay to enter the contest is going to go into a, a really good cause. That organization helps out at-risk kids and uh, kids of single mothers and things like that. Takes them out fishing and hunting. and It's just a really good organization. Um, I'll play this clip right here of them giving you kind of a better explanation of it if you ever want to check them out. Thank you guys so much. Again, my name is Boyd McNeil with Cloud Out Outdoors. I'm the founder. Cloud Out Outdoors is for any, any city you. Single parent families with troubled teens. Take them outside fishing, hunting, archery, especially sure that's raised in the school system and stick within the whole year. So today, uh, thank you guys so much. The food we have right now is going to feed some families in St. Petersburg, Florida, which is our local home down here. Um, any kids today that want to know how to play a fish afterwards, I got some knives coming out. And the parents are giving them to teach to play a fish today. Just show them how to do it, okay? Um, hope you guys had a great time. Hope it was fun for all of you guys. But overall, it's still a ton of fun. I I learned a few things. It was, it was my first contest, you know. I think I got like 12th out of 20 something or something. <laughs> but uh, it was still fun. But and so a bunch of people complained that it was a pretty tough day for fishing actually. And um, the ones that caught the biggest fish did not use shrimp. I used shrimp because I called a few different bait shops and that's all they had. They didn't have fiddler crabs. The ones that caught the biggest was like Faith in Fishing. Uh, he caught like two giant 18 inch ones. He was using oysters. Um, so it was like fresh oysters right there from their habitat. So it's obviously a bait that they like. And then these other people that caught huge uh, sheep said they went out the day before and caught mangrove crabs. So everybody did their due diligence to get the best bait. I went out there with shrimp and it did not produce as well. I caught a bunch of small sheep's head, but uh, just caught those two smaller ones. The other, uh, two 15 inch ones. The other thing I learned is if you have to turn in your fish to a tournament, I would bring them in fresh. A lot of people brought them in fresh. Uh, evidently, when you put them in an ice box like I did, they shrink because mine measured before I put them in the cooler, they measured like 15 and 15 and a half. And then when I turned them in, you know, on ice, they shrank like a half inch. It was like 14.9 and 14.4. <laughs> so next time I'm bringing them in fresh, but overall it was a lot of fun guys. Um, thanks for checking out this. If you liked it, go and give the video a like. It really lets YouTube know that we're doing good content and people are enjoying it. it helps the channel grow I appreciate it um, if you're not a subscriber and you like this go ahead and subscribe and uh, I'm, I'm releasing content every week so I will see you guys in the next video